the first fighter, stepping into the cage and fighting out of the red corner. Top, the Viking Crosby! Tom Crosby making his way into the ring. ABT fighter Danny Mitchell. One and oh uh, pro record. Yeah, something interesting about Tom. He, he used to be a semi-pro rugby player about five years ago. Turned MMA now. So rugby tackle central then. He promised me earlier There'll be big takedowns. Well, the supporters are vocal, giving the uh, famous chant that the. Uh, is it the Swedish supporters that do it? Or know. Norwegian? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Iceland. Iceland, Iceland it was. that's yeah. it. So he's been a pro about two months as well now, but he's had about 21 amateur fights, so he's fairly busy. Call him the Viking. Paul Bodner, another Portuguese fighter, fighting out of the Golden Axe team. Tom's got his own poster up there. Barber did a better haircut on the one on the poster. <laughs> He's sponsored by Butchers. <laughs> Wonder if he's going to do any butchering tonight. Paul Bodner weighed in at 75.7 kilos. Tom Crosby at 77. Three five minute rounds. The Portuguese guy taking an awful lot of time to get into the ring, but. I think he's about to make his way up now. Well, looking at Tom Crosby, I don't think I'd be in a rush to get in there with him. I don't want to be sat in as. <laughs> Great show of respect by both fighters. So James, for Tom Crosby, what we're looking at, uh, ground and pound, takedowns? Well, you know, coming from that rugby background, I guess it's going to be takedowns. Tom looks bigger. He's definitely more thickly set, but Paul seems the rangier of the two. Oh. He's already caught Paul Tom lands with a couple two of... right yeah. hooks. 
early on. And another right hand connects, but it's not stopping uh, the Viking. He's pressing forward. Maybe going for that take down, he promised you, James. Short strikes being landed by Paul in the clinch. Yeah, Tom's just got him pressed up against the fence, but he doesn't seem too phased being into that position. Using his head well to <coughs> keep his opponent pressed up against the cage as well, is Tom. Oh, there's oh, some just holding uh, the cage there a little the bit. Cage, yeah. Stuck to prevent the takedown. Oh, nice oh. knees, two nice knees there by Tom. Corkscrew uppercut by uh, Paul. Yeah, Paul's got some nice strikes from the outside. Heavy leg kick by Tom. I think that's a bit ambitious. Nice oh, ducks under. Well defended by Tom. He's defending it well with a foot on the inside. So he's managed to turn away. Tom's going to the standing, standing guillotine. guillotine. Quite a difficult submission to get that. He's getting trying to get that elbow down onto his back. He's got the tap. Oh. So we uh, we actually finished with the real guillotine. Make up for the one they announced <laughs> earlier on. <clears throat> Strong finish there by Tom. Yeah, I think um, Paul's mistake was to shoot him. Because his stand up was what was. Uh, yeah, he was having some success. There. Yeah, I agree. He was having a lot of success there, but when he shot him for the takedown, he, le he left his neck up, he was looking up. Having said that, though, the, the shots he was landing on Tom didn't seem to phase Tom at all. He just marched through. It's been a great night here at Royal Fight Night 2, James. Zaggy's put on a fantastic show. The amateurs set the bar really high. Fantastic fights. And the, and the pros have lived up to it. A few controversial uh, decisions during the course of the night, but all in all, a fantastic night of MMA action. Yeah, it wouldn't be a, a proper fight night without a bit of controversy now, but I've got to say, yeah, I agree with you there, 100%. What an excellent card. Excellent matchups, and I think, uh, you know, Really well, really well delivered in the end.